nice week off, just kind of resetting things after uh, the game before. Mm -hmm. For you personally, I mean, just kind of what did you do with your time? Um, not much, actually. My family were back home for Easter this weekend, and then last week my girlfriend came over for three days, which was good. Um, uh, but just kind of relaxed, enjoy the weather, chill by the pool, and kind of just did like Disney Springs and stuff like that. But my girlfriend was over for a bit, which was nice. How important is, is are those kind of like resets, especially for how the season started and how many games you guys played, just mm -hmm. to be able to have that kind of time to mentally and physically reset to be able to come back and now be ready for uh, another you know, grind of, of basically the, you know, the next couple months? Yeah, um, definitely it's good, um, especially for players that maybe you're dealing with a little bit of knocks or, or injuries to get that extra week to recover, uh, to get maybe, say, two full weeks of training before this game coming up, uh, which we weren't used to back when we were playing in the Champions League where it was just at Wednesday, Saturday. So um, it was definitely good. Uh, it's been nice to train, I guess, every day and, and just kind of get that rhythm going again and, and just get the boys going after, obviously, a disappointing result against Nashville, but now we just fully focus for Minnesota. How has training been just in general this week? getting kind of back into the groove of things, trying to find that rhythm, trying to find uh, chemistry between your team, obviously a lot of new pieces within this team as well. Um, it's been good. Uh, I think the boys are good. Everybody's in good spirits. Um, obviously, it's difficult when you come off a loss and you have that two weeks to kind of like think about it and, and, and kind of gets to your head before we go into the next game this weekend. But everybody's been good. Everybody's been enjoying each other. Um, it's a long season to go, so we know there's a lot of games. but. Um, I think we're all ready to go and prepared for this weekend. It'll be a big, t a big test for us in Minnesota. Speaking of Minnesota, I'm not sure how much film you guys have watched mm -hmm. so far, but uh, what are you kind of expecting from them? Um, definitely, obviously, watched them over the weekend against Chicago. Um, I think that was their first loss of the season uh, for them, but they're definitely a very good team at home in their atmosphere and their stadium. We played them in preseason, which was a good game, and uh, so we're kind of familiar with them. But they'll be a good team, strong defensively. they got big boys up top. so. Um, it would definitely be a good game for us to hopefully go there and get three points. Obviously, it's, it's up north. You're kind of familiar with, with playing up north mm -hmm. in colder climates. Yeah. Um, you know, some of your newer teammates are you know, not as used to that and not as used to the travel and everything. Yeah. Um, how have you kind of talked to them just about you know, the different conditions, the different kind of travel? Obviously, some of them experience a little bit now, mm -hmm. but just kind of in general. Um, Definitely, it's obviously definitely a bit different for them uh, playing in, in this kind of weather. Well, right now it's not too hot, but in the summer I'm sure it's going to be uh, definitely very hard to play in or especially train in the morning. But um, for me, when we played in Philly away, it kind of like brought me back to where I was home in Toronto with that weather. Um, I missed that weather. It was just something that I was comfortable in and feel like you can run forever in, in those kind of games. But uh, it's good. I, I like playing it in those kind of climates, those kind of temperatures. Um, Definitely our team would obviously get used to that and uh, they were definitely on fire when we played in Philly in, in that kind of weather and rain. So I'm um, not sure what the weather will be this weekend, but definitely excited for it. How has it been for you just in terms of the, the acclimation to this team? Obviously you talked about you know growing up and playing in Toronto and uh, you know being used to that colder climate. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a very different uh, situation down here. How has just kind of your adjustment been now a couple months into the, into the season? Um, definitely feel like I've adjusted quite well with the team and and uh, the coaching staff and everything with the club. Uh, definitely when you're going into a new environment, you're not sure what, what it's going to be like, but um, everybody's been welcoming to me, and uh, definitely I know I'm going to have to get used to the climate coming up. Um, I've been told it gets very, very hot in the summer. Um, when I, last year when we played here, um, uh, when I was back with TFC, we played in September, which was very hot and it was raining. So uh, definitely something that we, I can get used to, and I think that when teams come to play us in the summer in this kind of weather, it's definitely an advantage for us uh, when we're training it week in, week out. So um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm definitely happy to be here and, and enjoying every moment of it. What do you feel like the, the kind of most important thing is for this team now heading forward into these next couple games just to be able to, to prove to yourselves, to others, just kind of mm -hmm. what do you feel the most important thing? Um, the most important thing, I think, is to bounce back, uh, to keep going and to keep playing even when the results don't go away. Uh, we stick to our game plan, we stick to the football that we want to play. Um, now we have a big away game this weekend, but we know that after this away game we have two games at home, which we definitely obviously want to improve on on, on our home record to, to in the start of the season and something that we could take advantage of playing at home. And, and I think that's where we can get three points um, every week when we're playing games at home. So hopefully we can go away and get three points and knowing that we're coming home to two games uh, back to back. Um, it should be something that we're looking forward to and excited to. You've had a week off now in 
how important is that kind of time off then for you to be able to kind of mentally and physically reset heading into this game this weekend? Otra semana dentro de, de partidos, una, una semana extra. ¿Cómo es importante esta, esta semana para recuperar físicamente y de la mente? Pues, buen día. Um... La verdad que los profes esta semana y la semana anterior nos manejaron muy bien. Eh, tuvimos muchos días para recuperarnos, de trabajar bien específicamente y prepararnos para el próximo partido. Y bueno, creo que eh, no, no, nos recuperamos muy bien y estamos en perfectas condiciones para, para llegar al sábado de la mejor manera. Yeah, good morning. Uh, I think the, the coaches have done a really good job this week and uh, last week especially of giving us that, that time to recover and those days to, to recover physically and mentally uh, from, from the last few weeks that we had. Uh, I think that we've recovered really well uh, and, and that we're, we're in great condition and prepared for the next game against Minnesota. Speaking of that game against Minnesota, um, played them in preseason, you kind of understand a little bit of what they're about. Um, what are you kind of expecting from them, especially away from home? Hablando de, de Minnesota, jugaste frente a ellos en, en, en la pretemporada. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué expectas de ellos, especialmente de, de nosotros como visitante? A mí, eh, igualmente, no, no me tocó jugar todavía. Eh, estaban esperando. Eh, pero creo que nosotros estamos muy bien, nos preparamos muy bien esta semana. Eh, estamos convencido de que vamos a ir a, a una cancha difícil, pero que vamos a ir a hacer la, las cosas de la mejor manera para traernos los tres puntos. Yeah, and it's, uh, I think at that point in the preseason, I still hadn't been uh, selected to play. I think I was still waiting and uh, making sure that I was that I was all set. Uh, but I think the, the team got a good taste of what we're going to face uh, against them during that game. Uh, I think we've prepared well uh, this week for them and we've put ourselves in a mind, mindset where we know that we're going to have, uh, we're going to a difficult stadium to play at a difficult field and that they're going to do everything they can to stop us, but we're going to put our best foot forward and do everything we can to take the three points from the weekend. It's kind of speaking of your recovery from, from that injury last year, how has that progression been? Obviously you've gotten more and more playing time over the, the last couple of weeks, but just kind of going through that process for you, how, how have you kind of felt that has gone and how you've come out the other side? Hablando de tu recuperación de, de la lesión, ¿cómo está progresando? ¿Estás jugando más minutos eh, y más y más eh, en las, las semanas uh, últimas? Pero ¿cómo, ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias a Dios estoy ya totalmente recuperado y obviamente que estoy eh, trabajando día a día siempre un poquito extra para, para seguir mejorando y y potenciando las cosas que, que tenías antes, mejorando todo para, para seguir creciendo día a día. Yeah, yeah good. Thanks, uh, thanks to God. I've, uh, I've fully recovered. You know, I'm working every single day uh, to get that little bit extra to, to continue improving and uh, even to get some of those things that I had uh, back before the injury. Uh, but, you know, I just keep working every day to continue improving and getting myself ready. Have you ever gone through uh, an injury like this before? And, and I guess kind of in that same vein, how is the, the training staff been able to, to kind of help you get back to that level that you were at before? You had a recuperation like this before, and how did you help the team here, the coaches and the coaches? Since the last year that they helped me with the issue of confidence, of supporting me, they knew that it was eh, largo, que era duro, yo no lo tenía tanto así, eh, no sabía que era tan difícil la recuperación, se me hizo muy largo, pero creo que sin, sin el apoyo de mis compañeros y de todo el cuerpo técnico, de los kinesiólogos, eh, creo que obviamente no, no hubiera podido, eh, ellos, ellos hicieron que, que sea más fácil la recuperación, así que sin ellos hubiera sido muy difícil. Yeah, one thing they specifically helped me with was was the confidence of, of going into this. Uh, I've never had anything like that before, uh, but the, the technical staff and, and uh, the medical staff here was there for me. They, they told me ahead of time, you know, it's going to be a long and, and difficult process, but we're here for you and we're going to continue continue working with you to make sure that we get you back, back up to, to where you were before. 
Uh, I think without the without the help of and support of my teammates, the the whole technical staff here, the support staff, uh, I don't think I would have come out on the other side of that as well as well as I have. Um, and it's just thanks thanks to everyone here for that. Now that you've had some time in MLS, now that you've had some experience in, in the, the pace of the game and, and how things go here versus back home, how have you found that adjustment just in terms of the way the game is played? Ahora que, que ha pasado un poco tiempo acá, una experiencia en, en los partidos de, de esta liga, ¿cómo están las diferencias entre esta liga y la liga de tu casa en Argentina? Sí, es, es, creo que totalmente diferente. En Argentina se corre, pero no de la misma manera que acá. Acá hay, se corre de, de arco a arco todo el tiempo, nadie para. Eh, y los equipos que por ahí no juegan tanto con la pelota te equiparan físicamente. Eh, en Argentina por ahí es un poquito más lento, pero mucho más agresivo todavía. Es totalmente diferente, pero bueno, está bueno de conocer esto. Me tuve tiempo para adaptarme y bueno, eh, de a poquito lo voy haciendo cada vez mejor. Yeah, I think uh, it's they're, they're totally different. Um, you know, in, in Argentina they still run, but they don't quite uh, run as much. It's not the same way of running here. It's it's box to box all the time. Nobody ever stops running. Um, I think it's it's a little bit different in the way the two different leagues play with the ball, but still aggressive in their own ways. Uh, I think it's 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 two totally different styles, but I think they're still great, and I'm I'm adjusting to to this league and taking. Uh, how I can continue improving. Chris, uh, it's been a couple weeks now between mm -hmm. the last game against Nashville and this game against Minnesota. How, how has the team been just in terms of having that time off to kind of rest mentally and physically? And how do you feel that, that is just important considering how the, the season started and how many games you got? Good. Uh, Try to use uh, the timing for uh, the beginning to regen some of the players that uh, had a continuity on on the prior games, but at the same time, just trying to use the trainings to improve, uh, to get more chemistries, uh, to balance the team, and obviously to prepare the next next match is is pretty much what we have done. Speaking of the next match against Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Familiar with Adrian Heath, you've known him right. for, for a number of years. Mm -hmm. What are you kind of expecting, especially up in Minnesota? Minnesota, uh, it, it, it think he has in a structure that, that we know. We face him in the preseason, and, uh, and as you mentioned, uh, we have a good, good relation with Adrian as well that I, I know from his experience in the league. But we always say that every game. Uh, that story is going to be right, and it's, it's uh, some something that we coaches prepare, and, and they know us. We know him. Uh, what we're looking at is just trying, obviously, to use that knowledge on terms to apply it in the in the pitch, and then and, and try to get uh, what we need. Is that first the victory, and and the most important is that our uh, chemistry and our system can be getting more mature in this. Just kind of um, looking at the, the way the team has, has played over the last couple of weeks, it's been kind of mm. mixed. Um, how have you kind of spent the last couple of weeks trying to, to figure out how to find that consistency within the team and, and for the players as well, just to be able to kind of get them more comfortable and acclimated with each other? Right, well, uh, working, training, uh, do a repetition, <laughs> waiting for the players to uh, glue with uh, the idea that we have had here. Uh, waiting is it, it's, it's normal, there's 34 games. Uh, it's normal that uh, we are daily with uh, the same ambition to win and just be in the first place and have the achievement of the goals that we trade, uh, trade in the, in the off-season, just accomplish them all. But but the game just shows you that sometimes it takes uh, uh, time, and, and obviously we don't want it. Just we want it now, but it, it takes time. Just kind of for the younger players, how have you found their progression just in terms of understanding the, the concepts of the game, what you mm -hmm. employ, and 
especially kind of adjusting to the lead. Good, good. Uh, the, the boys are playing well. Uh, my kid recovering from uh, the participation that he has on uh, the national team and he get hurt, uh, but has had a, a good semester so far, getting that opportunity to uh, be part of the U20s, but also just com completing uh, matches with the first team. Uh, the other ones are, are, are gluing well with the team too. The guys that we brought from the draft and the guys that are coming from the academy, but also the youngsters that came from the internationals um, or the other countries that they, they, they're young too. And so they're, they're in that prog pro program of development and, and, and they be part of the game. And I think the best part of, uh, of uh, the analysis that we have is that Orlando has a bright future with the, the youngsters. And um, we're renewing the team and, and, and hopefully we can just make it happen quick. Mm -hmm. Past week, the 15th and the 17th, right. they're competing against uh, very good competition. The 15th making it to the semifinals. Just kind of wonder your overall thoughts on the progression of the academy um, and, and what you've seen from the younger players there. Well, first, that uh, the club has done a, a fantastic job with uh, the academy progression. Uh, uh, it's, it's, something, it's something that we ambitioned from the beginning, and obviously, that's going to be seen when the players get in that age where they're completing games in the first team and then they get mature and their consistency uh, they have the consistency on the first team but this this takes time to, and and then but now the result of putting in a structure uh, down the line and then you have Orlando City being protagonist in every single competition within the state is fantastic it's not a, a, a naive uh, franchise? No, no. This is Orlando City is competing the first places in in the United States. That's fantastic. I guess kind of in that same vein with with Martin and OCB going three and zero. It's true. The season. Mm. How have you seen you know, that team, especially kind of being able to gel and, and Martin kind of taking the concepts that you want to employ with this team, taking it down to the B team? Well, it's another great step on. Mm, seeing the progression of the, our second group with OCV, just Martin is doing a fantastic job on uh, putting the pieces together, and, and now the effort that we had last year and, and the patience that he has had with the team now is giving not just the results, but it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic to, to see that the, the project is, 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 is going, not just in the results, which is important. But you seeing this young man just being a man now and, 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 and being already available for, for minutes in the first team. Last question, going back to mm -hmm. your team. Um, with the competitions kind of ramping up a little bit with, with MLS starting to kind of hit a, a stride, U.S. Open Cup coming up, mm -hmm. how are you kind of approaching these, these next couple of weeks in terms of just um, making sure that the guys are, are ready week in and week out while also kind of Keeping the team fresh, mm -hmm. and, you know, right. making sure that you're ready for all the competitions coming up. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, first, uh, uh, trying to use more players as we have done it. I think part of this competition or this uh, uh, moment of the competition is that we have used a lot of players in, in, in this first eight matches. Second, you see the youngsters to come and, 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 and be closer to us. And just let the competition come. And the most important, just getting results too. Because I think that is all, all things are working well. And our academy is good. Our OCV is doing good. And our first team is gluing together. But we need, game. We need results. <laughs> la calidad en el último tercio con la misma intensidad pero vamos a encontrarle calidad vamos a darle un poquito de calidad al ejercicio entonces medio capista que va a ayudar en la tarde
Hey, 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 hey,